Good day everyone, I'm Andrew Friskup, I'm the Serial Extension Plant Pathologist at North Dakota State University. I've uh, been making it out to Hedinger and Dickinson in the southwest corner state for many years, but obviously this year I won't be out there. Uh, but I still want to kind of convey some of the messages on small grain diseases and give you a review of what we've seen this year. To begin things off, uh, we went into the spring very wet, and so there was going to be a lot of concerns about fungal leaf spots, tan spots, septoria, those common diseases that we see every year. But there's one big thing that we didn't have out in the southwest corner, and that was moisture. And more specifically, is lawn dews. When we've been running the IPM scout survey and also reports I've gotten from RECs and as well as crop consultants, fungal leaf spot pressure was very low this year. And the best way to explain that is to blame Mother Nature. Mother Nature uh, didn't provide the dew points, I guess in this case, for the diseases to flourish, so we were under low disease risk. The other thing that we didn't have to really deal with this year is an issue that we faced last year, and that was Fusarium head blight. Uh, a key thing to remember about Fusarium head blight is it is driven by the environment. It is driven by high relative humidity and prolonged periods of moisture. If you want to compare what happened in 2019 to what's happening this year in 2020, the key thing that we don't have is those high relative humidities and prolonged dew points. So in some ways you want to wish for moisture because it keep the crop going, but last year you can see where sometimes that, that might be a double-edged sword in some cases. To kind of review what we have for disease risk in the southwest corner, uh, you're likely going to start seeing more root rots develop this year. Um, easiest way to diagnose root rots is you're going to see premature white heads and it's going to be a white stem as well with a very poor root system. Oftentimes root rot isn't the reason why the plant died, it's more the pathogen took advantage of a water stressed plant. Those infections start occurring early on in the growing season and they really don't manifest until you start seeing a stressed plant, for example drought stress. In Henninger and Dickinson this year and for the last three years we have been conducting seed treatment trials to see whether or not we have any fungicide residual enough to offset that and our early data suggests that we don't see a lawn residual from the fungicide seed treatment once you get outside of 18 to 21 days. So that's some of the prime research we're doing out there and something that we're looking at specifically. Other research that we're conducting in the southwest corner of the state is we also established a Fusarium head blight trial this year. Certainly that we're not going to see much disease on that, but is this one way that we're starting to get more information for those areas that see those infrequent epidemics of serum head blight. Um, as far as anything else, uh, nothing has come across my desk other than those kind of hot topics and diseases. And I encourage you, if you have any questions, to work with your county agents to reach me or you can contact me directly uh, by, by searching for me on the NDSU website. So thank you for your time. Hope everything well and I hope for a successful harvest. Mm -hmm.